Hi everyone, this is Joey back again at ESC Plus where we are going to talk about Sigmund Trondheim's day. Sigmund is an artist that participated in 2019's Danske Melody Grand Prix. So let's rewind a little bit back to earlier this year where I made my debut for ESC Plus in terms of covering national finals and schlepped my way all the way to Herning, Denmark, which is actually um, Sigmund's hometown is where he was born. Um, it's a rural part of uh, Denmark. It's by no means Copenhagen. I did not know what I was getting myself into. I was out there in the sticks. And if I did not rely on the kindness of strangers, I would have been really unlucky. But um, it was it was great. It was a great press event. And we got to talk to Sigmund. And I learned a little bit about like really what makes him tick. So I think... Like for me, I was new to this idea of being in a press center and people were pretty serious. They're working and as the artists come through, you know, there's a great amount of um, kind of professionalism that gets displayed between interacting with artists for the first time, um, you know, in the Eurovision panorama. And so, you know, the, the vibe was pretty calm. When Sigmund got there, this things Joey changed. I, I, I like it was I'm like he was making his entrance Sigmund onto RuPaul's Drag Race, and he was having his like now, entry to the workroom. The energy the level just picked up by ten thousand percent. Um, he was hilarious. His his questions, um, I'm sorry, his answers to his que the questions people had for him were amazing. Um, we got off track when we were talking because I mentioned that I was from New York and he kind of lost his mind a little bit. He was just so excited. Um, but he, he was very charming and very funny. There were times where he was uh, speaking in Danish to people. I had no idea what he was saying and I wanted to, I didn't matter. I was laughing because just the energy that he was bringing to the room was crazy. Um, so one of the things that I learned about him is that he is a social media connoisseur. That like he so has an Instagram and a YouTube a um, channel, which I'm sure this is going to probably get on. So I will just say that he has so many fans. And so, and he's been on so many different reality shows. Um, he's br building this organic following um, that uh, love what he does. And really, like, he's he brings as an artist a lot of things. The personality sure that all is immediate, but he's also got are, great I'm dancing skills, and um, he, I've seen him perform in places where now, he doesn't I actually even sing. He's, um, it's just all dancing. Denmark. It's pretty amazing. Um, and then he's obviously, a, you know, a singer. What, what he's been on like some of the reality That's shows, like X Factor, in Denmark, and one of the things I love about it is that um, he will cover a lot of female artists. So we've got, um, you know, there's, he loves Ariana Grande, that is by no means a secret. And so there is a video of him covering uh, Side to Side, which um, I think I really like his version of it. Um, he did this on X Factor. Um, and I think in this day and age for an artist, that comes from a small town like that, uh, to, to kind of go out and to really challenge gender norms. And uh, I feel like he's really um, elevating a lot of these female songs by Ariana, Ariana Grande, or let's say um, he's got something by, uh, like, by Selena Gomez as well. Like, you know, you don't get a lot of people doing that, as I think especially maybe from one from a small town in Denmark. So I think Sigmund was really bringing this type of energy into the, the contest. and. Let's remind everyone, Leonora was the eventual winner. It's a stark contrast between what Leonora brought to the table for Denmark and what Sigmund was, was offering, um, potentially representing his country. There was there, There's a big difference there, and I think that um, it, it's worth looking into. So one of his... Um, well, his his entry into Don Smelly Grand Prix, which I think people dismissed it. Um, there was this, um, it's called Say My Name, and I think that people dismissed the song um, for being a little bit too, maybe maybe too simple, um, or, or not as uh, developed as maybe some of the other tracks that were entering, like such as Julia Nina and of course Leonora. But I have to say, the jury gave this a lot of love. So he entered the field of 10. He made it to the super final, which put him in the top three. And then even after that, 
he still managed to become the runner-up in a jury vote. I was impressed. Um, one of the things I love about his performance at NG Dawson Early Round 3 is again, the jam scene accompaniment. There is a, it, you know, it opens with this hologram effect, but he quickly launches into this whole like, voguing type dancing, which um, with Pose being as popular as it is right now in the US, this is very, very current. This is what the children are gonna wanna see when they tune in to um, a show like Don Smelly Bond Creek. They're not gonna wanna necessarily see the same type of offering that Denmark has been serving up, even though Leonora was the winner. Did remind me a lot of Emily DeForest um, and, that, and that kind of vibe. Sigmund is bringing something new to the table. He is bringing this energy and this identity that it was not not really present in, in the contest um, so much in the past few years. So I'm all for that. Sigmund knows that I adore him. This is a labor of love for me to be talking about this today. I, I his energy and his charisma um, just fantastic. Um, but big news for Sigmund is he's got a song out now called Rebel, and we're getting a music video soon. Um, it's not out there yet, but you can look it up on Spotify. And if we, we um, it's been co-written by Sigmund, and he talks about being a rebel and about how he's actually been a rebel all his life. He just hasn't been aware of it, or he hasn't made it intentional. But just by being himself, he's been a rebel. And that, I mean, with with all the events um, of, of Pride Month going on in the world, like this was this is a message that I think resonates with with me, and um, I'm sure with a lot of his fans just being yourself and even if that means being rebellious to be yourself. So I think this, I, I actually also love the production value on Rebel. I feel like this is a step in the, in like becoming more mature for him. It has got all the makings of a gay club banger and it's, Sigmund's got the chops and the personality and the integrity as a artist to really back it up. He's a young guy, he's 20, 24 years old. With the amount of followers and amount of places he's um, appeared in Denmark, we're gonna be seeing more of him, I think. And even if he doesn't and like choose to go into the Eurovision route um, again, I hope that he will appear somewhere in Copenhagen um, on, on or around March 7 to, to at least energize that fan base again. And the other thing I have to say is we have to get this guy to New York. I think that um, the Americans would eat Sigmund up. He is got that personality that people want to engage with. He, you, I feel like you can put him on a stage and he will just, he, if he has to make it up as he goes along, he will entertain you. And you know, we don't necessarily get that in every um, Don's Melody Ron Free entry, right? So this is something special and I feel like um, there is a market out there for him that uh, can be expanded. And if he has aspirations on, on kind of dr drumming up that support and building his fan base out, uh, we gotta make it happen. Watch some of his videos of him um, on some of the reality shows that he's been on. One of them was called uh, Divas in the Desert, and it's hilarious. Again, I you might be able to turn the subtitles on to figure out what's going on, but it's hilarious. He's, he's a funny, funny person to watch, and um, I, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do next. I know that he is filming a video now for Rebel, and once that's out, we will be talking about it, and writing about it on ESC Plus. And Sigmund, stay in touch. Hopefully this video reaches you. And tak tak, as I say in Denmark. Um, so thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the notification bell, like this video, and share it with your friends, especially if you think that might like Sigmund. I'm sure he would appreciate more support and more followers. Uh, and until then, see you next time. Thanks.